Hey everyone, welcome back. Tom Zavea back again for another blade review for Cult of Athena. Today we have this Indian Kafgari Method Dagger. We have a red velvet scabbard here. We'll see we have some faux silver inlay. Very highly detailed handle. Notice the peen right here on the very end of it is even detailed. So let's take this out, move the camera a little bit so you guys can see this better. So we have a blade length about nine, nine and a quarter inches long from the finger guard right here all the way to the very pointy tip you have a full grip on the handle nice finger guard on the index finger right there to keep the hand from sliding forward it's also a little bit of a lip on the pinky right there so if you're holding this in like more of like a saber grip like a fencing grip or a full grip in reverse grip you'll see got a full grip on that as well you can either cap it or if you're more like the hammer style right there then it comes with this scabbard like I said before red velvet pretty fancy too uh, if you're if you these look familiar we did two Indian swords they were two uh, scimitars actually Indian scimitars that uh, have the same Kafgari method and what the Kafgari method is at least for the research that I've done is uh, it's like silver inlaid so it gets really detailed um, it looks like Damascus I don't believe it's the same method Kind of gives you the same result though, this wavy feature. What I think is really interesting about this too is that this is all hand done. All of this is done by hand. All the silver in here. And the inlay into the handle. They literally just covered all their bases on this. You know, even that right here. All the waves. Here's the knuckle guard too. As you can see, I'm handling this one on the blade edge because it's not sharpened. Uh, a lot of times, the, the tip's pretty pointy, but it's not, you know, there's no edge on it. A lot of times when we get stuff from India, um, it'll only be slightly sharpened. Or uh, we can just add a sharpening service for you for a little bit extra. Um, but yeah, this one specifically is not sharpened. Just check our website before you purchase stuff to make sure that, you know, if we say slightly sharpened, we mean it. <laughs> or, uh, battle ready in the sense of, like, it's very sharp or, uh, the construction is up to par to where you could do proper cut testing and all that. This is something that I would rather just hang on a sword stand or, like, a knife stand. Uh, we have really nice wood ones, uh, available at Cult of Athena. If you just have this here or because there's no edge on it, you can even display it where this is out on like a desk. That would look really nice. So I would categorize this as a full-sized combat dagger. You'll see it's a really long blade here. Long enough to where this would be able to go through armor, you know, in the in the context of battle. In reverse grip, it's very, very secure in the hand. The handle, you'll notice the handle here, it swells. So you'll see it's more skinny and it tapers to thicker near the pinky. Kind of reminiscent of uh, the Indian scimitars as well. Let's also get a close-up on the scabbard. 
so we see what we're working with here. Got red velvet, nice and smooth. We also have these faux silver accents on here. That's what the shine is on this. And then we'll also notice the detail on the tip right here, on the tip of the scabbard. Let me get a close up of that. All right. And you know, a lot of the reasons why like these are other, other than it just looking really good, a lot of the reasons why like on daggers and on swords, you'll see like a, a different material on the actual hole of the scabbard. This is wood cord, by the way, it's got wood with velvet around it. This is a, is if you were to drop it or if the tip was to hit the ground or anything, you're not going to just destroy the tip of your weapon. So it's, uh, it's a good it's a good safety feature to have and it also just looks really good. So if we take a look up close, we get to really see the Kafgari method that they're using here. Alright, so it looks here's a little Alright, so here's what it looks like in hand. Incredible amount of detail put into this. Almost a pointy tip. The back edge near the tip, hope you can see that right here, it kind of tapers out. So if you wanted to, I believe you can add a sharpening service to that. You'll just have to contact customer service and they'll be able to tell you whether or not you can uh, get this one sharpened. There's the spine of it. A lot of incredible detail on the waves here. I like when you can see really up close, you know, one, how much detail, and two, being, you know, being able to tell that it was hand done. Add some, uh, add some character to it. So there it is again, the forward grip. Let me switch this around into the reverse grip. So retention on the scabbard, see it slides out very nicely. Uh, what really keeps it in place is this little piece right here, right on the back of the guard where your thumb would go. So I really wouldn't hold this upside down just like any other dagger or any other sword. That's about all the retention you have on it. But if you were to add like a sword frog to this and it was, it was being on a vertical, Horizontal will probably be fine. Uh, just be very careful on how you're carrying it for like reenactments or, you know, dressing up or anything like that. But other than that, I would just carry it vertically. See, it shoots right in. Got a good draw to it. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this tabletop review of this Indian Kafgari method dagger this full size dagger here with the red velvet scabbard nice and fancy so if you're interested in this blade go ahead and click the link below and i'll be able to link you directly to that on the cults of athena website in the meantime subscribe to the channel like this video hope to talk to you soon